My name is Guillermo Fernandez. I recently graduated from Florida Gulf Coast University with a degree in business management and a concentration in entrepreneurship. I've been producing a project for FGCU titled The FGCU Effect, and I became involved in the project kind of by happen chance. James Greco dropped by, um, and I showed him a recent project that I had directed and produced, and he was telling me that FGCU was looking to produce a, a piece of content for the university. Because of that connection, I reached out to Deborah Wiltrout and said, hey, I work with an awesome director uh, that came over from LA. We can do something amazing for FGCU. My name is Mark Myers, and I was the director and the producer on the 30 Second Brand commercial for FGCU called the FGCU Effect. It's about a lot of things. It's about a birth of an idea. It's about students. It's about the teaching that takes place here. But really, it's about what people want to be in life. It's about evolving into the person you want to be. And it's about influencing the world to be a better place. We used solely talent from FGCU. I don't think anybody that's touched this piece has um, not been involved with the university in one way or another. Just tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Kiana Davis. I'm majoring in communication studies and minoring in philosophy. I was invited to the casting call by my advisor for my organization, and he all he let us all know that there was a casting call for the commercial and that we should all come out and give it a shot, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I heard about a casting call. I told my friends, I was like, we have to go try this. Let's give it a shot. So we went into the casting call. It was really awesome, professional, and they just asked us a lot of questions about our involvement at FGCU. Wish me luck. We had about 41 to 42 people come out and just share their experience with FGCU. I would definitely give credit to FGCU for shaping my life and the person that I am today with all of the experiences that I had, all of the people that I've met. Your students were great. I got everything I wanted from every student. You know, the skateboarder could actually skateboard. Board Parish, professional golf management. My dad owned a skate park back in Minnesota where I used to live, and so I grew up skating there. And then about five years ago, I became an instructor. I love Florida Gulf Coast University, and this is my first year here, and I just want to participate and be helpful as possible. The challenge the challenging part of this was graduating and producing this piece at the same time. That was, that was very intense. The second row and the third row. Our classroom scene uh, at the Welcome Center. We had a professor that called in sick last minute, uh, couldn't show up. That was the same day I had to give a presentation, so I'm legitimately running through the halls of Luckert and I'm just knocking on professor's doors. I'm like, hey, would you like to be in a national television commercial for FGCU? I have to step forward. Boom. Wayne Elmore and I'm a finance major. Professor Weeks uh, told us that they were going to be filming the commercial and so a few of us uh, finance students, seniors in finance, decided to come out. I showed up uh, just thinking I was going to be an extra in the background and ended up getting picked for do not know the reason to stand in front of everybody, walk around and act like I was presenting to a class for, uh, for just over an hour. That's a wrap! We had Three intensive days of filming, and we had nine total shoot days. 18 total locations. Action! Good morning, Mildred. My name is Kiana, and I am a social work student. Today we are looking to see the FGCU effect here. You're gonna come back here for 15 seconds. You're gonna go check on John for five seconds. It was fun. A lot of time trying to get the lighting perfect and stuff like that, but it was fun. A lot of fun and laughter going on and just showing everyone what it's like to be an FGC student. I like other people to know what we do around nursing. I like people to know what happens on the third floor here in Marib. We have mannequins that can sweat, they talk, they can change their vital signs. We learn all of our skills on mannequins before we go out and do them to people in the public. So it makes us better prepared for what's going to happen out in the real world. Set her back up, set her back up, and bring her down. I was in a, um, a play in high school, so I was able to, you know, show off my little skills that I have. And I don't have too much, but I have enough to offer. <laughs> we were shooting from sunup to sundown, um, and some days it was sunup to 9 p.m., which made for a very compact shoot schedule because a lot of our shots were reliant upon golden hour light. Action. We're focusing on the food forest right now, and it's very exciting. I worked with the food forest for a really long time, and it's just really cool because I'm about to graduate. So to be like in a commercial and be the face of a commercial is really exciting. One more time, really quick. When I started off in college, going to FGCU, I feel like I really didn't like understand who I was as a person. But doing the service learning projects, getting involved on campus, I'm more aware, definitely, of who I am and about the world around me and being involved with the local community. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. See you later, I gotta go to commercial, bye! <laughs>
<laughs> there was a lot of vision already there, you know, that was brought to me. You know, you had pretty precise boards, you had a good example of what you kind of wanted to see. So my vision really was to make these ideas flow from one scene to the next properly, creating movement through each scene, which gives the entire piece kind of a flow and an energy to itself. So we shot almost the entire thing on a steady cam, and when we weren't on a steady cam, we shot it on a slider, and that gave us the proper movement that we wanted. Using all that to create a nice fluidity, a nice flow, helped soothe that intense script and all those shots, helped kind of slow it down or at least smooth it out. So. You know, when you watch it, you just kind of go on a journey. Now we're going to be go. I want to be right into the sun. So we're going to follow the path of the sun this time. Okay, we'll here, this we thing. here we go. My name is Woody White, and my major is econ. My parents put me on skis and wakeboards when I was real young. And then sometime in high school, a couple of my buddies and me got really into it. Started competing against each other, and it really took off from there. Actually, Gigi hit me up on Instagram. I know I've watched her compete at nationals before. And so she found me, heard that I was riding out here, and just asked if I wanted to do this. And look at that. He's That's upside perfect. down. We're in with him like that. And then we cut to the skateboarder landing. It was absolutely incredible. Like the sun in the background and coming up before the sun was up. It was fantastic. It's probably the longest set I've done in maybe a year. Having fun? Yeah, a lot of fun, dude. <laughs> not going to be able to walk around the rest of the day. And it's kind of awkward, because I'm always saying, OK, we have to do this 10 or 15 or 20 times. OK, let's do it again from the top. Pretty nice. One more time. 20 or 30 takes, something like that. I don't know. It felt like a lot more. 20 to 40, it felt like at least with going back again and trying back and forth. One more time. Great. Let's do it again. One more? Yep, one more, please. Great. That's a pretty good shot. One more time. It must have been 150 plus to 200 takes for, for I'm sure, a two second clip. One more time. <laughs> There's little things that happen when you shoot that are really important to the scene. And they just, they were total, they were superstars. They were great. It was a lot of fun. I was really nervous, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Step to your left. Now do the do -si do <laughs> I'm a performer. I step and dance and stuff, so I've never done anything like this. I've been in this phase of trying to push myself out there and try new things, so this is definitely one of those things for me. The experience was very interesting. It was great to be a part of a professional environment, seeing what they do with the camera, how long it takes, the shooting, what it's involved. I would say my favorite scene to shoot would have been the recital hall. We had this beautiful lens flare, this awesome pianist playing piano and just getting real into it. My name is Manuel Molina and my major is piano performance. I was playing a piece by Liszt. It's called Legend Number no. 2. I just play through my piece and everyone was clapping. It's just like, it's a little different, you know? I needed to take like six or seven bows so they can take like a good shot of that moment. I think my favorite part about that scene was how we used the people that came and participated creatively and made it look like a packed auditorium where we still had a good 70% of the seats unfilled. That was probably like five minutes. I don't know, it was like, the longest applause that I ever got from a recital. That was probably the most stressful one, was the piano one. And that ended up being the best shot of the entire piece, I think. The biology shot, though, really kind of sets the pace and like brings you into it. Whoa, that's a really beautiful shot. I'm Kathy Doan. My major is civil engineering. It was awesome. It was exciting. I didn't realize how much effort it takes to make a few seconds. Pull on this line. Bounce Oh. So it pulls that trigger on there close to the two balls up and then you got a water sample inside your... It was very interesting. I've never been in waders before. I've never even considered going in the lakes. We have a population of alligators on campus. We try to make sure that we uh, live with them. And so it's a good idea when we're working in the water to have somebody watching just to make sure we're not interacting with them. I haven't seen alligators in the water, but there was this one time I was walking to campus to study and there's a little alligator on the side. Didn't touch it, but it was, it was pretty cool. This school is not like every other school. Being here and attending the school has definitely helped me grow as a person with all the experiences I've had, with meeting all the new people and the, the diversity of campus. It's helped me a lot in my professional world, getting me a job. I had jobs landed a year and a half before I was scheduled to graduate. I've been more exposed to the environment, environmental concerns. I've been able to be a leader, and instead of just watching things happen, I get to be inside it. It's changed my life. FGCU helped me discover, you know, okay, I have a passion, I have a drive, 
and it was kind of brought about by sharing the message of this campus. I'd say it's a good way to graduate. I'm actually in the film a couple times, and I don't think I'm leaving here forever. You know, I'm always going to participate with FGCU. I've never done anything like this. Uh, happy I got to do something like this, and so, no, it was just a lot of fun. Feels great. I feel like a star. <laughs> it's very awesome. <laughs> I'm just excited to tell my mom and make sure that everyone in my family sees it. My hope for this piece is to garner some really awesome attention for the university. I want to showcase the effect that this campus has on people, the community, and how it translates to the rest of the world. The FGCU effect on me? It's unexpected opportunities. That's a wrap.